from what I could decipher again from scanning through the port report initially um, is it doesn't mention that there will be less Marines than what the new uh, uh, reset has been telling us, which is 5,000, 4,700 to 5,000. There's nothing in the report that says less than um, the amount that we're being told. Instead, the governor's special assistant on the military buildup, Mark Calvo, says that the report appears to endorse DOD's plans. It makes recommendations uh, that 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 are almost identical to the Department of Defense uh, recommendations for security in this region. Calvo says this is a good thing because this report, which was done by an independent third party, sort of independently validates DOD's plans for this region as the right direction to go as far as the nation's defense is concerned. What we were, the administration was worried about, and we, we posed the question to Department of Defense, is, is if this third party uh, came up with different numbers that were drastically different, how, how would it affect the, the timelines? Would, would Congress use that to argue uh, Department of Defense plan, or will it use it, use it uh, merely to set new numbers? We didn't know, and they didn't know. Now that this report's out and it kind of endorses what Department of Defense has been recommending, it, it just means uh, a quicker movement forward. Instead, he said that the report acknowledges the current number of Marines that DOD has been planning on placing on Guam. It also um, uh, uh, makes mention to uh, whatever is decided that for Guam, infrastructure and uh, improvements in road, water, wastewater, power, uh, need to move on no matter what the size is of the uh, footprint of the Marines coming out here. Calvo says the reason for this is because the bigger picture is the eventual development of a three-decade plan for the security of this entire Pacific region. We are Guahan member Levin Camacho says that the document points out that DOD didn't take into account significant factors and costs associated with the proposed buildup. So you know, we get confirmation that DOD from day one has underestimated the total cost of the projects and that's why the Senate has been very concerned about funding the projects. Camacho says that this report also gives recommendations for beefing up other military assets on Guam outside of the Marine Corps. The other interesting thing about this report is it talks about uh, Air Force and Navy and specifically they recommend you know basically doubling the B-52 bombers at Anderson, bringing a whole new squadron. And they also recommend bringing in three more uh, nuclear subs to host them at Naval Base. And the last recommendation they make is to bring in THAAD missiles or Patriot missiles to Guam, uh, missile defense systems, which was again initially part of the buildup, but was deferred by DOD. So, you know, when we talk about the buildup and uh, and this whole region, we look at Guam not as just the marine base, but we also see that DOD is already increasing its its presence up at Anderson and at Navy as well. Camacho says he hopes that DOD and other agencies look at the effect of the buildup on Guam's quality of life. We are Guahan's concern has always been about the quality of life for people living here. This, our schools, our roads, our hospital, and that is still a requirement moving forward. The House is trying to get rid of that requirement, that DOE, federal, um, that the hospitals you know, look closely at how we're going to be affected and how to get funding. So we, we want to you know, hope that our congresswoman is going to be looking at that and lobbying on behalf of the people of Guam to make sure that our lives are not going to be affected if these other things go forward.